Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics, and in this video I'm going to explain what light rays are and how you can draw shadows. So a very important rule about light is that it always goes uh, from a straight line from the light source. So if you have the sun, or for instance fire, or a candle, or a lamp, then from that light source light rays are emitted and always in straight lines. So if you want to see it, then some of them will hit your eye and then you will see them. But a lot will go different places, you will not see them, uh, but they always go in a straight line. And they don't go into a corner around to back to your eye, they just go the other way. And uh, that's, that's fine, because there's a lot of them, and very important is that they always go into a straight line. The second important thing is that you cannot see light when it does not hit your eye. So for instance, here we have a lamp, and there's a light source here a little bit up. So from that light source, a lot of uh, light rays are emitted, and they always go in a straight line. They cannot go up, because you can see that the lamp is blocking it, so they can go from there, to there so here all these light rays can go so there's a, a lot of them uh, millions and billions of light rays that are going straight down straight straight uh, from there to there so here in between are a lot of light rays so if you are here and you're looking up in the lamp then you will see the light source so you will see the lamp but if you're here then you cannot see these light rays you can only see them when they actually hit your eye they are not hitting your eye so you cannot see them and that's good because if you would see them, then you would not be able to see what's behind them. And there's a lot of light rays also now in the room where you are or outside. There's a lot of light and you will only see the ones that actually hit your eye. And that's good because otherwise you will be blinded by too much light. So only when they hit your eye, you can see them. And that's very important. There's three things that can happen when light hits an object. So here we have a light source. And if um, light hits an object, it can be reflected. So if we have a chair here, then some light from the light source will hit the chair. Then it will be reflected. Uh, it can go to your eye. It can also go to the left. Or so, for instance, if somebody is standing there, it can also be seen by that person here. But most important is that it's reflected, and then you can see the chair. So this chair itself is not making light. It's reflecting the light from the light source. And when the reflection hits your eye, you can actually see the chair. So you don't see the light, which is here. But you do see the chair because that's the part that goes, goes into your eye. A second thing that can happen is that light can be absorbed. So for instance, if you have very black socks lying here, then light will hit it and it will be absorbed. So no light will be uh, reflected. Of course, you will still be able to see the socks because around it, the light will be reflected and you will see that in the middle, there's no light reflected. So then is when you see the black socks. So black is actually the absence of light. And the final thing that can happen is that light can be transmitted through an object or medium. It's happening with the air. Uh, light is going through the air, so it's transmitted through the air. But also if you have glass, uh, light hits the glass, it will go through it. You will see through the glass. So this is also something light can do. So there's three things. Light can be either reflected, absorbed or uh, transmitted through an object. Sometimes a combination. If something is, uh, the chair is also absorbing a bit of light. Um, so sometimes it's a combination, but these are the three main things that light can do when it hits an object. Now, something you need to be able to do is to determine the shadow of the table. So we now here have a light source and we know that light is always going with a straight line. So if you want to know the shadow here, you know that there will be shadow here because from here you cannot see the lamp. But to determine the exact shadow, uh, you need to draw two straight lines. So one here to the corner of the table and one there. And you will know that from here to here, no light can be uh, com com come there from the lamp. So this is where the shadow will be. Here, there's no shadow because from here you can see the lamp, but from here you cannot see the lamp, so there's shadow. So this is a way how to, to determine where shadow will be. Another example, determine the part of the cat that is in the shadow. So we have a light source here, we have a wall here and a cat, and a part of the cat will be in the shadow and a part of it will be in the light source. And we can determine that by drawing a straight line to here. Because from here, there will be no light because light will not be uh, transmitted through the wall. It will be either ref uh, reflected or absorbed. Uh, and from here, here there's always light. So a part of the cat is in light. It's uh, his back is in the light. Uh, his face isn't, so he will not see the light, but light will shine upon his back. A little bit more difficult, determine the position of the light source and draw the missing shadow. So we have three walls. We have a shadow already here. We have a shadow already here. This one does not have a shadow. We have to determine the shadow, but first we have to determine where the light source is. Well, there's one way to do that, and that's to uh, determine uh, where, how the shadow came here. And you know that the shadow came here because of this line. So you have to draw a line from the shadow to the wall and then further on. So somewhere on this line, there's a light source. You can do the same on the other side. 
And then you will see that they both uh, connect here. So this is where the actual light source is. And if you know that the light source is here, then you can also determine the shadow of this wall by drawing another line like this and by drawing a shadow. So this is how you do it. Uh, this question, you first can determine where the light source is from looking at the shadows. And then finally, you can determine this shadow because you already have the light source. I hope you now know how light works and how you can draw shadows with it. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking and of course subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.